This is 2K... Sports broadcasting from Houston, Texas, as the Rockets take it to the hardwood. Well, it was the Chicago Bulls in their last game, a loss to the Mavericks in Dallas. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup presented by State Farm. We've got Derek Rose. He's out there with Ben Gordon. Paul is out there with Perkins. And it's Lee in at the four spot. And for the Rockets, Delton is out there with Harden. And it's Camby, and it's Trevor Ariza, and it's Blair in at the power forward position. You know, Houston for the last several years has tried to get a star player on their roster, uh, but it's so difficult to do. There's only about 10 of them in the entire league. But what they've done is they've, they've put a, a lot of good players on the floor. They've built their asset base, and they're poised to make a deal when the right one comes their way. Now, here's Felton. And here's Harden. Shot clock at six. Houston needs to get a shot off. Here's Felton. Kicks it out to Ariza. This is to Camby. Puts the lead pass in front of him. It's taken away by Wallace. 
Rose. Feeds it to Perkins. Back to Rose. Wallace outside. Kicks it to Lee. Uncovered. Kicks it out to Gordon. The pass to Rose. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly Rocket calling it close. Really, if you don't have a top 10 player in the league, you just continue to gather talent, and that's what the Rockets have really done. Yeah, and you call that stockpiling assets. If you aren't building around someone, then you get as many good assets as you can because they're always movable, and I think Houston has done a nice job with that. They're in a position to add pieces or either trade for additional pieces now. You know, the Bulls have been a regular fixture in the playoffs since joining the league, literally. I mean, with the help of Michael Jordan, they have become, along with the Celtics and Knicks, one of the most storied franchises in the Eastern Conference. Ariza outside. Harden outside. This one for three. They get a bet. Kicks it out to Ariza. Outside, Felton. Over Rose. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. And with six banners hanging up in Chicago, the city has really cultivated a lot of pride and winning tradition here with the, with the Bulls. And, you know, Steve, that goes a long way. You were a Bull player at one time. You know all about that pride. Yeah, no better place to play in the NBA than Chicago. When you're winning, the whole city loves it. Obviously, Michael Jordan was the main reason for that era. Uh, but so much history now for the Bulls, and uh, they sell out game after game. Unbelievable fan support. For three, Felton. That's good. Felton! Felton's got five now. That's all the space he needs, guys. He'll make you pay every time if you give him that shot. Back to Rose. Bulls moving the ball around. And it's Gordon missing. Well, what I love about Tom Thibodeau, guys, is just how hard his teams play. And you know they're prepared because uh, Thibodeau is so meticulous in his preparation. But the guys play hard for him, and you can tell they really enjoy him and they really like him uh, because they really get after it for him. Bulls trail by three. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yeah, so a bit ago, Kevin McHale and I were able to catch up. As they get ready to face the Bulls for the first time, we talked about what makes playing the Bulls so difficult. He told me they are one of the most sound defensive teams in the league, and there are going to be stretches where the points just don't come easy. We have to make sure we don't get frustrated by that and keep on chugging along. Bulls defense, definitely a concern for them, guys. Thank you, Doris. Oh, count the bucket. And for Coach Tom Thibodeau, you know, Steve, it took a long time to land a head coaching position. Some say his intense style scared off some teams. They worried about his gruff demeanor. I, I think just the opposite. I, I think that, you know, a lot of teams were welcoming that. He, he was going to bring some order, some discipline, some structure. Well, he just didn't have the, the personality that some teams are looking for in terms of, you know, media uh, relationships or, you know, uh, sound bites, that kind of stuff. Uh, and he didn't play. So he was really a guy who had to work his way up the ladder. Obviously has turned into one of the best coaches in the league. But you know, it's tougher for guys who didn't uh, come from an NBA background. Now here's Rhodes. Juan Blair unable to get his shot to go. Rose passes to Lee. Back to Rose. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. One of the things about Derrick Rose that you love is that he's a gym rat. He's a basketball fanatic. But it's interesting. He's not really into playing a lot of pickup ball in the summertime. In fact, he's even said he doesn't really enjoy the NBA All-Star game that much. He likes the real thing. He wants to play to win. Harden kicks to Felton over Perkins. The Rockets with another miss. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense was all over. Boy, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Outside, Gordon. Pass to Lee. And stolen by Ariza. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. It's all in by the Bulls. Wallace has got five rebounds tonight. Going back to Rose in the All-Star game. 
He even got asked about his not dancing during the East All-Star intro. He said it just wasn't him. I like that. I love that. You've got to stay with what you do and who you are. Do you. That's what we like to say. He's all business. He's playing in the shadow of number 23, the legendary Michael Jordan. And it's hard to imagine him shaking a leg before a game. So I think Rose is on the right track there. Now here's Rose. Following the miss by Trevor Ariza. Takes the three. That's good from Wallace on the assist by Rose. Wallace has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Rose against Felton. Kicks it out to Ariza. Harden outside. Back to Ariza. Passes it to Campbell. Felton. Blair covered by Lee. And Blair kicks to Felton. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Now a chance to see some of the numbers for Derrick Rose. Eighth in scoring. 17th in assists. And defensively, he's been really good. He ranks in the top 20 in the league in steals. And you don't become a top 10 scorer, Steve, without a variety of offensive moves and a whole bunch of tricks in your bag. So he makes for wonderful highlights the way he can score. It's blocked. The Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. Well, to this point of the season, guys, they're knocking down about 76% of their free throws. And, guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. You know, Derrick Rose, until last year, really was one of the most durable players in the NBA. But back spasms, a groin issue, a sprained ankle, really kept him out of a, a big chunk of last year. So... We'll see if he's able to get to the point where he can get back to that, that durable self. And for Rhodes last season, really a number of injuries. He missed more than 20 games in the regular season with a bad toe and a back injury. And it was on and on. He just could not stay healthy. Yeah, he couldn't find any traction. And then he tore his ACL in the first round of the playoffs, Kevin. So as he comes back from that, Chicago will be looking for every age they can to try to keep him healthy and ready for the long haul. Lena Ezebuki checks in for Houston. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. And the season series between these two teams went exactly the opposite of what you would have expected. I mean, the, the weaker team won both games. And Udrick needs to check in for Derrick Rose. Well, games so often come down to free throws, and when that's the case, these are the players you want at the line. The best free throw shooting two guards in the NBA. Fifth on the list, James Harden. Yeah, this is a set of players that can drive and slash, hoping to draw contact, because if they can get to the bucket Chuck and the foul, is. it's an automatic three-point play. And you know what, Steve, even if some calls go against them, you know, as a coach, you can accept it because when the calls go their way, they're automatic cash money at the stripe, ATM time, so it more than makes up for the charge calls they might get whistled for. Here's Felton. A picture-perfect screenplay and the jumper's good. Felton's got seven. At that point, you wonder if it was a fluke or if these guys you know, have really figured it out. I'd be surprised to see a repeat of that outcome this time, but I've been surprised before, Kevin. Yes, you have. <laughs> And Udrick kicks to Spates. And O'Neal with the block. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Udrick. Spates with the lead pass. Good. And the Bulls lead by four. A great move to the hoop. Capped off with the finger roll. He's an outstanding finisher in close. Outside Felton. The dish to Turioff. Back to Felton. Five to shoot. He feeds it to Harden. And some nice passing there by Houston. But he stays with it. Felton kicks to Harden. He passes to O'Neal. Ball stolen. Here's Morrow. Averaging 14 points a game. Udrick. And Miles kicks to Spates. Six on the shot clock. Here's Moore. 
and the Bulls tack on two more. Yeah, no question that Morrow is a natural shooter, whether it's coming off a pick or just floating out beyond the arc and spotting up. He is just amazing at knocking down long-range shots. There is just no need to warm up with Morrow. It's like as soon as he steps on the floor, he flips on the switch, he's ready to go. He can heat up in an instant like this. James Harden! James Harden has become one of the best players off the bench in the NBA. And anytime you get a guy who can score like that and create offense, it's a tremendous weapon to have coming off your bench. And going back to Harden, very fashion forward. It's not just the beard, it's the bow tie, the Clark the thick rim glasses. Yeah, he calls Baron Davis his big brother, and they look like they go to the same stylist, that's for sure. I think it's the L.A. hipster thing, that swag that they're flowing with going on. But it's all good because Barron is a good role model for a guy like Harden. And to Harden's credit, he's uh, latched himself to that wagon. Felton kicks to Harden. Back to Felton. Upside, Felton. Well, fade away. Chicago grabs the miss. He may want to start spreading the ball around a little bit. His shot is off right now. Well, when you think of Kevin McHale, you think of a Hall of Fame basketball player. In his days with the Celtics, he was phenomenal. Seven All-Star appearances. He won three championships. Playing next to Robert Parrish and Larry Bird. Boy, he was something. And we may have an injury here. That does not look good. Yeah, he's not happy right now. You can see it's really hurting him. You sure can, Steve. I mean, it's difficult to say exactly how serious it is, but hopefully we'll have an update soon. Amari Stoudemire is checked in for Jermaine O'Neal. And a change for the Bulls. Rose is checked in. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And going back to Kevin McHale's playing, he's one of the great low post scorers. 13th, in fact, all time, Steve, in career field goal percentage. Well, when you think of low post guys, I mean, to me, I think McHale with that litany of moves he had down on the block was just incredible. Uh, an amazing player and part of that, that dynasty in Boston uh, during the 80s. That was something to watch. Chicago with the ball. James Harden missing on the three. He was all alone on that one. That's now eight points for Rose. Well, he's one of their anchors at the offensive end, guys, because he can make plays like that all the time. And Sabuki for three. The shot, no good. You know, even against defense as tight as that, you expect him to bury those. I don't know. I mean, we've seen him hit those in the past, but like you said, the defender was on him like glue. It would have been quite a bucket. And here are the Rockets now after the Bulls pick up two. One forty-one left in the first quarter of the game. Harden's shot is good. I'm sure they'd like to get more shots like that one. Rose kicks to Miles. Back to Rose. Hayes with the screen for Rose. Wow. Oh, what a <laughs> Look at that athletic play. Incredible. A lot of points for them here early in the first quarter. I mean, this could get ugly. Yeah, they sure could. They're on quite a pace right now. And judging by their lead, this game could get out of hand in a hurry. It's clear they had one thing on their mind when they came out of the gate today. Rebound. Yeah, they've opened up the game with a pretty good margin in that area. Great sign for this club. And the basket by Morrow. Their defense just hasn't been able to slow them down. And that's a big reason why they're trailing Clark. They haven't gotten many stops here. There's the screen. Harden lefts up. The Rockets making a switch here. Mills is checked in. Forty-three seconds left to play in the first quarter. Taken away by Hayes. And here's Morrow outside. The shot no good. Rockets trailed by 13. Here's Harden. And it's Miles with the rebound. He's laboring out there right now, guys. The shot has not been falling for him this quarter. 
just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Lock at six. And it's Rose penetrating. What a start they've gotten off to. A big lead for them, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. And it's not just their hot offense here. I mean, they're playing very strong defense too, guys. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Your Rockets rolls out front. They lead by 12. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Welcome back, everyone. A lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start this second quarter. And a comfortable margin for the Bulls here, guys. And the defense has been key in building this lead. They've really clamped down hard. They've done a nice job, Steve. I think challenging every shot. A hand up on every shot. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so in the game for the Rockets. Royce White is out there with Turion. Then it's Mills. Then it's Harden. And it's Ezebuke in at the small forward position. Harden dishes to Mills. And there's the feed to White. Defended by Gordon. Come to me, come to me. White against Gordon. And the rebound goes to Perkins. And they're struggling a little bit on the glass. They've got to pick up their physical play in the paint. Yeah, it's about being tougher and, and more physical, just as you said, Steve. If they can do that better, uh, they've got a chance to come back. Rose passes to Lee. Shoots over Turioff. No good from Lee. That's a look that he'll never pass up. The one he'll usually never miss. Here's Mills. Chicago grabs the miss. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Lee kicks to Rose. Back to Lee. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Lee's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Bulls. Gordon against Harden. White. He's against Lee. Goes straight up. White. Good. White. White's got his first points of the game. For the Houston Rockets, they come into tonight following a loss to the Timberwolves in Minnesota. Back to Rose. Over Harden. Rose can't hit. Rockets trail by 12. And Ezebuki kicks to Harden. Harden left side. He kicks it to Azubuki. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Boy, oh, that's too easy. You cannot let a shooter that good get a warm-up jump shot like that. If you do that, it'll be raining all day from out there. Gordon kicks to Rose. And no luck. And it's Houston the other way. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. They get the rebound. Defense. That's two fouls now here in the first Defense. half. So we'll see if That's they let him try to play through foul. First team foul. Harden against Gordon. Who's back up? Another miss by Harden. The Bulls leading by nine. On the wing, Ben Gordon. Jacks up a three. Can't hit the putback. Rockets have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Here's Turioff, and the layup is good. Heard the whistle and still kept his focus, able to knock that down. And that is not easy, Steve. I mean, to take the bump, to maintain control of your body, and put it in the hole, tremendous play. And the Rockets making a change here. Blair's checked in. 
outside Gordon. He dishes it to Miles. Jims it with authority. CJ you know, the defense that time was just content to stay out of the way. I mean, no resistance at all. They let him do exactly what he wanted to right there. <laughs> Steve, no one looked too anxious to take him on. No, you know, guys, I think that speaks to his strength and his agility. I mean, there's, he's not a guy you want to stand in the way of as a defender. And here's Mills from the arc. Kendrick Perkins pulls it in. Perkins got three rebounds so far in the game. Here's the three. Out to Lee. Dishes to Rose. Back to Lee. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got three assists now in this one. Feeds it to Azubuki. Here's Turioff. Gets the bucket. Turioff's got five points now this quarter. Chicago with the ball. Eight point game. Outside Gordon. Over Harden. And it's Gordon that time on the assist by Rose. You know, that part of the floor, guys, is more or less his real sweet spot, right in his wheelhouse. And the foul called on Ben Gordon. That's his first foul. Well, one nice part of living in the information age, guys, is that you get a chance to easier test the assumptions. We've always thought that veteran experience was a huge key in the playoffs, and I still think that's a factor. But a recent study said that young teams aren't at as big a disadvantage. It's more about team continuity and chemistry. That's where the big advantage is. The Bulls leading by 10. Goes off the pick from Hayes. For the three, and Gordon gets it to go in on the assist by Rose. Rose has got five assists in the game. The Rockets have gone four of ten. And in the second quarter from the field. You know, Clark, you were just talking about that study. Surprising that having playoff experience wasn't a big edge for teams. Uh, your Indiana Pacers, the Philadelphia 76ers from last year in the playoffs. You know, interesting examples. Uh, Steve, what's your thought on that? Well, I, I think what's important is for the coaching staffs to have experience. I think that's where playoff experience really uh, comes in handy. The players gain a lot of experience right away their rookie years. Uh, they play so many games before the playoffs even come. So uh, I think they adapt quickly to the postseason. For the coaches, it's a different game, and they have to adapt. That's why I think their own experience is very important. And Rose is really the driving force for this offense, literally and figuratively. I mean, he gets into the paint as well as anybody in the NBA, and he's so explosive as a finisher uh, because of his athleticism and speed. So Derrick Rose, really the key to this club's offense. You know, I really like his groundedness as a player, Steve. He seems to be genuinely humble and yet holds himself to a really high standard, understanding the responsibility of his stardom and his gift. Failure for him is not an option, and when the game's in the balance, he wants to step up and handle his responsibility as the team's leader. The Bulls leading by 12. And guys, when I look at Maurice Spates out of Florida, I think he's got a lot of potential. Good rebounder, nice touch from the inside and out. It's just a matter of the energy and the effort that he puts forth each night. From deep, Rose. Second chance shot. So the whistle blows on the shot. And two free throws for the contact right there. Now we've got a moment to see how the Bulls are doing rank-wise in the NBA. Fourth in rebound. 13th in fewest turnovers per game. And as far as block shots go, not a strong suit for this team. Only top 20 in the league. They really don't do a good job of defending the paint. And you put all those things together, and that makes this a very tough team. And what really jumps out at me is the rebounds, Clark. And this is a team that, that controls the paint. Uh, if you're going to miss a shot, the ball seems to be theirs almost every time. That allows their transition game to get going. And then at the offensive end, they'll pound you on the offensive glass as well. You know, talking about Spates, a talented player taken in the lottery back in 2008. Clark, what's the next step for him, you think? Well, clearly the talent is there, Kevin. I think he's got a nice face-up jump shot out to about 17 feet. He's working defensively to get better. 
he's got to continue to grow in his understanding of the game. And then I think he's got to embrace being a good makes hustle plays and not look at those as something for somebody else to do. If he does those things, then he'll be a, a strong player for a long time. Trevor Ariza's checked in for James Harden. The Bulls also changing it up. Mozgov, he's checked in for Hayes. Wallace comes in for C.J. Miles. And it's Udrick in for Derrick Rose. Wallace. Missed inside. Tries for the alley-oop. And the jam by Dominic McGuire. I don't think it's possible to make a better pass than that, guys. And he finished uh, so well, Clark, too. Not too shabby on that jam. Not no, bad at all. And it takes perfect timing to pull off that alley-oop. But these two guys seem to have that synergy between each other. Here's a reason. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. The Bulls leading by 10. And Udrick kicks tomorrow. Space over Blair. And again, no good by Chicago. Outside, Felton leads him in there. It's taken away by Wallace. They get it again. And the foul called on Juan Blair. That's foul number two for him. Here's Hudrick. Kicks it to Wallace from outside the arc. Had a pretty solid opening quarter, but uh, struggling now to find his ring. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. We'll take a look at the Warriors. And, of course, the Bulls. They're tied right now. James Harden. He's checked in for the Rockets. Felton kicks to Harden. That's good, and so Felton has the assist there. And 11 points for James Harden. Now Udrick. Now the pass tomorrow. Launches it. Rockets with the rebound. Harden's got his fourth rebound in this one. Felton over Udrick. And Raymond Felton the bucket on the assist by Harden. Harden's got his fifth assist in this one. On the wing, Wallace to stop the drought. Wallace with another miss. He's really struggling in this quarter right now. They need to think about getting the ball out of his hand. 14 foul. Now, here is Harden. He's covered closely. Felton. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. No good with the triple. And Udrick kicks to Spates. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Take a look at Blair. Fifth in the NBA. Very quickly placed. Bulls have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. And that one falls for Spates. And the Rockets making a change here. White's checked in. The Bulls also changing it up. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Mozgov. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Udrick. Rockets trailed by seven. Felton with the ball. 13 points in the game. Harden dishes to Felton. Back to Harden. Pass to Felton. Six to shoot. Over Rhodes. Scooped up. Defense foul. Rockets have been good at the line so far. Five of five. Well, you got to like the free throw shooting from this club all season long. They're shooting 81%. Those are impressive numbers. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. And the Bulls making a change here. Lee's checked in. 
There's Rose with the three. Perkins, the pass to Rose. Pass to Mora. For three. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. For three. Morrow's got eight. Big mistake not having more defensive pressure on him out there. Felton kicks to Harden. White dishes to McGuire. That's good. McGuire's got four this quarter. Well executed possession. They controlled the shot. Nicely done. Ball is with a screen on Felton. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. 15 points for Rose. Rockets trailed by eight. Felton the pass to White. Cannot hit, so the Bulls will take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Moore. And he threw the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity strike when he gets his opportunity. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Chicago. And so here is Houston. They trail by nine points. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. And it's White missing. Balance scoring Clark and Steve for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting yeah. a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watch it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. Oh, right, Steve? Yeah, pass the cream, too. I mean, while you're at it. I mean, this has been something to watch. I mean, just everybody getting involved. They are absolutely stroking it from outside. I mean, textbook. Perfect. Good balance. Nice high release. Splash. Morrow kicks the lead. Whoops. Anticipated the pass. Turnover. Oh! Stripped it away. The Bulls leading by six. Six second difference between shot and game clock. The dish to Miles. Fires from 18. The Rockets shooting in the second quarter, 46%. He feeds it to Felton. Wide a screen on Rose. One second left. And he knocks it down. That builds a little momentum going into the next quarter. Yeah, you know you... Make sure you take advantage of that last possession. You don't want to squander that. And we're through two here and a good one. Bulls lead by four. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. You have to like what you're seeing from Raymond Felton. Yeah, his performance really transcends the stat sheet, Kevin, because you look at it, not all that impressive, but he's made a huge impact. Yeah, the numbers aren't huge, you know, but he's been really solid. I mean, he's made some important plays for him, and that's what it takes to win. You can't always have guys just stuff in the stat sheet. Sometimes you need plays made that don't show up in the box score. So the Bulls five right now. We've got Hayes. Derrick Rose is out there with Ben Gordon. Then there's C.J. Miles. And it's Lee in at the four slot. Back to Rose. Now the feed to Miles. Hayes dishes to Rose. Over Blair. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And that's 17 points for Rose. Harden against Gordon. 
elbow shot. Right. Outside, Felton. Blair backing down. Over Lee, and it's blocked. Really strong performance by them so far in the glass. You know, the lead they have in the rebounding category is also part of the reason they're on top on the scoreboard as well. Rose passes to Gordon. Hayes, he's guarded by Blair. And it's blocked by Camby. And oh, here we go. Felton's got it. The fast break chance. And... the basket. Book it. And that's 15 points for James Harden. Start hitting a few of those mid-range shots and it can open up your whole game. Double team on Rose. Here's Lee. Yes. And it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his seventh assist here tonight. Harden against Gordon. He kicks to Canby. Outside Felton. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. The Bulls leading by three. And for Marcus Camby, who was never a big-time scorer, his offense actually continues to wane now. He's uh, the guy who will get a few putback baskets, but not somebody you throw the ball to on the block. Rose kicks to Lee. Over Felton. No good from Lee. Great defense there. You really have to challenge him at that range. And the foul defense called on Ben foul. Gordon. Ben That'll Gordon. be his second foul That's of the game. Second personal foul. And you know, with Camby, one of the things he likes to do offensively is stay in that high post area. He's such a good mid-range jump shooter. And he's also an excellent passer for a big guy. But mostly, he likes to dive in for those offensive rebounds. He gets a running start, and with his length and athleticism, it's hard to keep off the board. And Miles kicks to Rose from downtown. And the rebound goes to Marcus Camby. Camby's got five rebounds tonight. And here's Felton from the arc. For the lead... That pops. And it's a three-point rocket lead. You can just see his confidence rising every time he knocks one down beyond the arc. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Yeah, he has to be frustrated by how his offense is flowing. I can't blame him. You know, they're getting good looks out there, but the shots just aren't falling. And that can get into a team's head if it goes unchecked, continuing to miss good shots. So this timeout might be a way to combat that. Go for the Rockets. Tony Turioff is checked in for Kemp. And it's McGuire in for Dewan Blair. Then for the Bulls, Kendrick Perkins. He's checked in for Hayes. Spates comes in for Lee. And Anthony Morrow subbed in for Ben Gordon. Bulls trail by three. Rose kicks to Morrow. Back to Rose. Bulls moving the ball around. Perkins dishes to Rose. Morrow, the pass to Miles. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Turioff. That's good for Miles on the assist by Morrow. Miles has got eight points. The Rockets have gone an even 50% to the four here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Kicks it out to Harden. Here's the three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. And while there's a break... Here's a collection of the shooting guards that have made an impact with their passing this season. The leading assist men among two guards. James Harden, number one. Well, when he's on the court, it's like having a, a second point guard out there. In fact, I would say his passing ability may be better than some of the actual point guards around this league. And Steve, it's almost hard to categorize him strictly as a shooting guard because he does handle so many of their passing duties. Doesn't matter what we call him, though. The guy's got game. Another miss by Harden. He hasn't been one of their key guys tonight, but uh, they are still winning despite his lack of production. Outside, Felton. Harden sets the pick for Felton. Gives him the lead pass. And stolen by Spates. 
Here is Miles. He's got eight. Rose kicks to Perkins. And Harden comes to help. Back to Perkins. Outside Rose. Six on the shot clock. Shoots from the baseline. Can't get it to go. And it's Houston the other way. Outside Felton. To the paint. Turry off. Back to Felton. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. It's his first trip to the line. Boy, I tell you what, guys. Hopefully it's not from lack of effort on his part. But his free throw shooting, compared to what he did last year, has been terrible. Kalena Ezebuki checks in for Trevor Ariza. Chicago leading. Rose kicks to Morrow. Back to Rose. Rebound by Raymond Felton. Boy, he has been struggling mightily in this quarter, guys. True. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He, he looks tight. Rose with the ball. Now Felton defending. Rose dishes to Miles. He dishes it to Morrow. Another shot. Gets it to go. Morrow's got 14 points for the game. Harden outside. There's the pick. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Harden's got four points now in the quarter. Now here's Rose. He's got 17. He passes to Morrow. Dishes it to Spates. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Turios got four rebounds now tonight. And there's a foul. It's on Maurice Spates. And that'll be his third foul so far. And here's Harden. 17 points in the game. Felton with a screen on Rose. Here's Harden. Another miss by Harden. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. And it's Rose. This time, the assist by Perkins. And that's 19 points for Rose. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Now, here's Felton. He's tightly guarded. And Sabuki for three. They get it back. Back to Harden. Feeds to Azabuki. To tie. Snatched up. Outside for Felton. Kicks to McGuire. Harden right side. Tries yet again. And the pass to Turioff. And that's a foul. Called on Roni Turioff. That's foul number two for him. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No flop there. He took that one right in the chest. Lee's checked in for Maurice Spates. As a boogie against Rose. Pass to Perkins. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. We'll take a look at the Bobcats. And checking out Chicago. Tied up with them. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. You gotta like what Derrick Rose has done in this game. They need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching. Houston making some changes. Marcus Candy, he's checked in for Turi. Blair comes in for McGuire. And it's Mills in for Raymond Felton. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Chuck Hayes, he's checked in for Perkins. 
Wallace comes in for C.J. Miles. Ben Gordon's checked in for Anthony Morrow. And it's Udrick in for Derrick Rose. Lock at six. Mills. Patrick Mills. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Mills has got his first points of the night. And Udrick kicks to Gordon. Backing down his lead. Beyond the arc. And the rebound goes to Marcus Camby. Camby's got six rebounds here tonight. Harden with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Passes it to Azabuki. Camby working against Lee. Here's Azabuki. And the shot is good. Azabuki. Azabuki's got eight points. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, there have already been five lead changes, but nobody taking control of them. Great matchup. I mean, these two teams really, really match up well talent-wise. I'm enjoying this. He may not be their top three-point option, guys, but you still got to cover him. I mean, you got to defend him in some form or fashion. Mills passes to Harden. Addition out to Mills. Hits it from three-point range. Mills has got five points now this quarter. And what you love about James Harden is his passing ability. You know that he can score. He can shoot with range. He can put the ball on the floor, get to the rim. He's probably the best passer on the team as well. And he also has a great beard. No good from Lee. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively. Limit his easy chances inside. And Mills kicks to Blair. And that one's good. And it's a three-point rocket lead. And James Harden, you said it, Steve, not just a score. He really, you know, Clark sees the game. Yeah, I love that about him. He sees and feels the game. Those are guys that just have a knack for being in the right position, right place, understanding pace and rhythm of the game. His, his rush hour handles, boy, I tell you, allow him to do things that very few players can do in the paint. And it's Gordon missing. Rockets leading by three. And even three-on-three three break. And Mills kicks to Harden. Lets it fly from 18. Again, the Rockets score. And we have seen the intensity pick up big time here in the second half. Well, you can feel the desire from both teams. that They really want to win this one. Udrich dishes to Hayes. Gordon, the pass to Udrich. Hayes, he's covered by Azubuki. Hayes, no good. Timeout call, the Rockets. And now, Clutch Turbo! For the Rockets, Kuryov comes in for Marcus Candy, and Trevor Ariza has subbed in for James Harden. The Bulls also changing it up. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Hayes. Spates comes in for Lee, and Derrick Rose is subbed in for Udrick. And Azubuki kicks to Mills. It's all in by the Bulls. He was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Spades dishes to Wallace. Defensive and that's a foul. 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 Called on Rony Turian. And that'll be his third foul so far. Second team foul. They swipe it. Well, it's too bad after such an efficient first half. He's starting to turn the ball over here in the second. Has a bookie the pass to Turioff. Makes the lead pass. And stolen by Perkins. The question is, do they go two for one here? Can they get a good shot in time? That's the question. They're on that bucket in in no time at all. And that's now 21 points for Rhodes. Now Mills. He's got five. And the foul Defense called on Ben foul. Gordon. That's his third foul of the game. That's his third personal foul. 14 foul. 12 seconds left here in the third quarter. Good. Mills with it. 
The three. Got it off in time, but it's no good. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Four Rockets. Rockets. ahead up by three the Bulls. and do not go away. it's amazing Rockets leading by three so with Stoudemire sitting on the bench here's the five for Kevin McHale right now Trevor Ariza out there with Blair and it's Azabuki then it's Turioff and it's Mills in at the one Trains the three-pointer. Mills has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Rockets. Ariza brings the double. Lee kicks to Rose. He feeds it to Myers. From deep, Morrow. That's good. Boy, they answered that three-pointer right back. It is raining threes in here now, boys. Mills dishes to Ariza. It's stolen by Rose. Walking ah! Bulls trail by three. First the feet to Lee. Back to Rose. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Morrow, no good. Kevin, just enough presence to bother that three-point attempt there. Well, for a guy that shoots like he does, I'd say that is an easy look. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Ariza backs in. He kicks it to Azubuki. Four on the clock. He dishes it to Mills. With the clock winding down. And he gets the jumper to drop. Mills has got five points in the quarter. Well, it's been a tale of two halves, hasn't it, guys? After a terrible first half, he's really picking it up. Lee kicks to Rose. It's off his foot. And the ref's saying he kicked it. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here on the fourth. And that's a foul called on Roni Turio. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Rose passes to Hayes. Rose dishes to Miles. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Rockets leading by five. Here's Mills. Dishes it to Blair. Working on Lee. And there's the call on Anthony Morrow. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Ariza kicks to Mills from deep. And Lee pulls it down. Lee's got rebound number five here tonight. Outside Rose. Morrow, the pass to Rose. Out of bounds, Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's probably two points. And he knew that. He knew if it gets through, it's a score. So that's why he sold out for it and got a hand on it. And as a bookie, kicks to Mills. And there's the foul. It goes on C.J. Miles. That's foul number two for him. Third team foul. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. And two shots coming up. At the line for your Rockets. Trevor Ariza. No good on that. At the line for two. The Bulls making a switch here. Perkins has checked in. And he sinks the second. Bulls trail by six. Right side Rose. The tray. And Turioff pulls it down. Turioff's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Mills. 
Chicago grabs the miss. Perkins got rebound number seven for him tonight. Shot misses. The Rockets go the other way with it. And here's Azabuki. It's Ariza on the wing. Ariza, right side. From down in the low post, it goes. And the Rockets lead by eight. Well, you hate to see a guy suffer through a game like this, but his team is winning. Rose kicks the lead. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. So for the Rockets, Marcus Camby. He's checked in for Turing. Harden comes in for Azabuki. That's Felton in for Patrick Mills. Timeout called the Rockets. Put your hands together. The Rockets. Spates checked in for Chicago. Gordon comes in for C.J. Miles. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. He said to them, the lead we've got now is nice, but I want to make it even nicer. This is when we put the hammer down. It doesn't look like he's ready to back off just yet, guys. Rose can't hit. A slight advantage for them in the rebound category. They've got to continue their work on the glass. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they're on the right side of the ledger, and that is all that matters to them right now with the lead they have. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. You have to like what you're seeing from Raymond Felton. He's been locked in from deep. They're giving him too much breathing room and definitely paying the price for it. Please check in for Maurice Spates. Bulls trail by 10. Outside Rose. To halt the run. That's good. Rose has got 23 points. Rockets have gone 4 of 8 in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Felton dishes to Harden. Back to Felton. He passes it to a reason. Felton, 6 on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Ariza. Feeds to McGuire. Back to Ariza. Lets it go with a three. Rebounded by Rose. Rose has got three rebounds so far in the game. Gordon with it. Now Felton defending. Gordon kicks to Rose. Over Camby. That doesn't go either for Rose. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Harden outside. Ariza. Back to Harden. Harden left side. Kicks it to Felton. It's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Remains in ball. One second on the shot. Puts it up. Off the inbound. It's hauled in by the Bulls. He's just been ice cold. I mean, he cannot find the range. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. That's just an ill-advised pass. I can't say I'm all that surprised it wound up out of bounds. It was a poor decision to make that pass. Harden outside. Back to Felton. The 11-footer. Derek Rose grabs the miss. Rose has got four rebounds now tonight. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. How about the night Derek Rose is having? 
He has 23 points and seven assists. He's gotten after it on the boards for them as well as in the transition game. And one's really fed into the other. Rockets leading by six. Here's Harden. Oh! Shot's good. Harden's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, when you play against him, Kevin, the first thing you want to address is making it harder on him to go to work down low. If you let him get position inside, it's going to be a long night for you. And Steve, he's earned a nickname that's familiar to anybody that's followed basketball, the microwave. There's no slow buildup with him. All he needs is one shot to go down, and it can set him off, turn him into a real scoring machine. He cooks with gas, not electricity. Felton off the pick from Camby. Felton the pass to Harden. Back to Felton. Let's the three fly, and the shot is good. Felton's got 29 in the game. Tell you what, they haven't exactly been shy about letting it fly from deep here in the second half. You know, Steve, if you have the lead, you can afford to be a little comfortable with the three-point shots. You just don't want to fall too much in love with it. Rose dishes to Perkins. Just five on the clock. And here's Morrow outside. Good solid defense on the perimeter there. Challenging the shot and not fouling. Even the best shooters can be bothered by his defense. Now, here is Harden. Felton sets a screen for Harden. And there's Felton. That's good. On the assist by Harden. Harden's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Rose kicks to Morrow. Good. Morrow's got 19 points. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, and it's been really good to them. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down there. That's four of their last five buckets coming the in the paint area. And Green. the foul on Derrick Rose. That's his Two first shots. foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. They're a poor free throw shooting team, and they've been true to form so far. Both free throws good from Felton. Bulls trail by 11. Taken away by Felton. Can be a screen on lead. Felton the pass to Ariza. Over Rose. Ariza no luck. The Bulls shooting just 39% from the field. Struggling to find that net. Rose kicks to Gordon. Back to Rose. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Felton has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Harden outside. Three-pointer. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Tony Turioff is checked in for Houston. As the boogie comes in for Trevor Ariza. Then for the Bulls, Hayes comes in for Kendrick Perkins. And it's C.J. Miles in for Anthony Morrow. Chicago calls timeout. He needs to get them back into a slow offensive. You know, things have gotten stagnant for them, and they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm and you're self-inflicting wounds. Spates checked in for Chicago. I'm sure that's a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in the first half. Harden outside. And the foul Defense called on Ben foul. Gordon. Shooting that will get him his fourth foul James of the game. Harden. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. At the, line for two. the first one falls. Harden hits them both. Always someone you love having at the line. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're committing an awful lot of fouls. Most of them are unproductive. You don't want to let guys get easy layups. I understand that. But this could turn into a parade to the foul line. And the Rockets making a change here. Players checked in. Rose kicks to Gordon. No good from outside. They continue to pull down misses, and that's how they're maintaining this lead. 
Yeah, well, one and done is the recipe for continuing to hold on to a lead. You don't want to let the other team back in it by giving them extra possession. Really, really left alone that time. Felton! And that's 36 points for Raymond Felton. He's been on a tear from the three-point line this game. The pass to Hayes. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Spades dishes to Miles. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Rockets leading by 13. Al Harden. Player, the screen. Shot clock at six. Over Mile. McGuire passes to Azabuki. Outside, Felton. Passes it to McGuire. And Blair kicks to Felton. Pass to Blair. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Shooting for Houston. To Juan Blair. And he knocks down the first one shot. They know Udrick. He's checked in for Chicago. So one for two that time at the strike. Bulls trail by 14. In low to Spates. Stolen by Harden. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. The shot is off. The Bulls shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Spates. But he gets it back. Nice job on the offensive glass. Now the dish to Udrich. Sinks the three-pointer. In the first half, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes. But finding themselves down now, they started to cast up a lot more triples. Timeout called the Rockets. They're in front by 11. 106 left here in the fourth quarter. Patrick Mills, he's checked in for James Hart. Patrick Mills. One oh six left to play in the final quarter. Here's McGuire. That's good. And so Felton has the assist there. And the Rockets lead by 13. Just cruising to the finish line. Yeah, and barring something catastrophic happening, um, it looks like they'll go home with a nice victory here. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. He's got a little careless on that pass. They should be able to connect on those. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Houston. Mills with it. Over Udrick. And Houston again with the bucket. Yeah, that should definitely do it. Now it's starting to get out of hand. Yeah, they're not just running to the finish line. They're running through the finish line right here. They're piling it on a bit. It's tipped. Hayes dishes to Udrick. Takes it up. The layup missed. And turnovers, Clark and Steve, have been the issue for him. Yeah, it sure has been the case. I mean, turnovers are like missing breakfast. Eventually, it's going to cost you. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it always come back to food, Clark? <laughs> Here's Mills. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dream-like games for a coach. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA.
quicker you gonna get